Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here. My name is Dina and in this video I'm going to be doing two bag reviews and these are two purses I believe are great dupes for these designer bags that I really like. The Alexander Wang Eris bag I believe and then the um, Bottega Mini Jody. So let's get started. We'll get started first with what I believe is a great dupe for the Alexander Wang um, Eris bag. I believe that's what it's called. I got this from Amazon and I think it's really cute and the rhinestones on here are really pretty. I don't know if it's showing on camera very well, but it's really blingy and shiny and just really pretty. So there's that and then I have the um, Bottega Mini Jody dupe that I really like. I got also from Amazon and it's in patent leather, a full patent leather. I think this is really cute. So I'm going to be choosing between these bags. I'm going out with my friends tonight and I'm gonna be choosing which one I wanna wear with the outfit I have on. Um, I just have on this full leather jacket and then this um, gray suede dress, um, turtleneck dress. But yeah, I'm gonna be deciding between these two bags. But also in this video, I'm going to be trying to fit all my essentials in there and also showing you guys that with these mini purses, it is possible to fit all your essentials in there. And I believe I have more essentials than your average person, honestly, because there's things that I feel like are a must in my purse. So let's get started with this bag. I'm gonna show you guys. It looks pretty small, and it is, but we'll see what can, we can fit in there. So inside, it's this um, faux patent kind of leather type of material, and there is like these card slots where you can put your cards in, and then behind there is like a little pocket and then the rest is just open space. Oh, no, because then on the other side, you have like these two little pockets too. But yeah, so both of these purses are from Amazon and they were very reasonably priced. This one I believe I got for $25 and this one was um, 45. But yeah, I think they're both stunning bags and they won't break the bank. So let's get started. Of course, um, I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch that has my cards and keys in, and this is an essential and absolute must for me. And then I have some hand sanitizer. For this bag though, I do believe that this hand sanitizer is kind of big. So then I have my backup hand sanitizer, which is just a Bath and Body Works sanitizer that I plan on putting in that bag. I have these two perfumes. I have um, Black Opium in a um, travel size. And then I have my Kate Alley Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper Perfume, which I really love in a travel size as well. I have my AirPods. Now, this is an essential for me sometimes, but not all the time. So I don't believe I'm gonna be putting this in this bag, but we'll see. I have um, full absorbing wipes. I have um, lip liner, lip liner and eyeliner. I have this lip gloss right here by Patrick Ta. I have my key car, my, my car key fob, which is a must. Sorry, and then I have my Laneige lip gloss. I have my Chanel mirror, which is an essential for me. And then I have a, this pen. I always like to have pens in my bag. So let's get started with what we can fit. I'm gonna try to hold it up as I put these things in here. We're gonna put the hand sanitizer in there. We're gonna put the key pouch in there. And also what you can do instead of putting the key pouch is like just putting the cards in the card slots in this bag, but I do prefer to just be able to have that in there. Hand lotion is a must for me. This mirror is a must for me as well. These two lip liner and lip um, eyeliner is a must for me. My car key fob is a must. Um, over here I have four um, feminine wipes and for me using the restroom, these are a must. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in that back slot pocket. So yeah, it is able to fit in there. Those four are able to fit. Tylenol is a must for me because I'd be getting headaches out of nowhere and it just, it would ruin everything. My pen is a must. My, um, I'm gonna bring this one because it's smaller. So if I have to pick between these two perfumes, I'm gonna pick the smaller one, of course, for um, this bag. Also though, let me show you guys, this perfume is not a spray on, it's like a dabber. So you would just like put it on your neck um, your hand and kind of just, you know, it smells really good though. Oh, I love black opium. If you love black opium, get you this little travel size perfume. So we can put that in there. 
If I have to pick one lip gloss, I'll pick this one to put in there and I do have to pick one, it's a must. And then I also need to have my oil absorbing wipes. And because my hair is straight, I do need to have my comb in there, <laughs> like it's a must. So yeah, so those are my absolute essentials and it fits in the bag pretty well. The bag is not misshapen at all. Like this is so cute. Like, oh, oh my gosh, I love it. I'll just hold it like this um, or just like that. And I feel like it does go well with this outfit. Um, but yeah, so this is bag number one and the only things I wasn't able to um, put in this bag that I feel like are essentials um, are, well, I have this other little mini oil perfume too that I don't really need to have, but these are the other things right here. Just my um, bigger hand sanitizer, my touchline hand sanitizer, my AirPods, this Laneige lip gloss, and this K. Alley. But all these things that I have here that couldn't make it in here um, are things I do have in here besides, besides the um, AirPods, of course. So yeah, I was able to fit quite a bit in here, I feel. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, these things out of this bag and um, put everything in here. And then we'll decide which one I'm wearing. I'm kind of leaning, I'm honestly leaning towards this one just because I'm wearing these shoes that I feel like go really well with it because they're also like patent leather. I don't know if you see them, they're boots. Sorry, this is awkward, but yeah, they're just patent leather boots or thick patent leather, whatever. Um, and I feel like this goes really well with it. So yeah, let's get started with that. We're gonna go ahead and remove these things here. The comb, the lip gloss, the mirror, oil absorbing wipes, pen, sorry I'm in a rush, I should be leaving. <laughs> the lotion, car key fob, Tylenol, perfume, lip liner, eyeliner, this hand sanitizer, um, key pouch with my cards and keys, and then my four feminine wipes. And now this bag is completely empty. And it is really cute. But like I said, I am leaning towards this. Even though this is like kind of a lot of black, but I am leaning towards this. So yeah, inside this bag, it's a red interior. There is also a zipper portion back here that I have open. And then on the other side is a little open pouch. Um, so in the zipper portion, I will go ahead and put those four feminine wipes. Um, I'll zip that up as well. And then you have this open space here. Then I have this um, key pouch. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Touchland hand sanitizer in here just because this bag is bigger and can fit it. Um, key fob, hand sanitizer, and I'm just kind of throwing everything in here because with these bags, there's not much organize, organization that you can really do. My mirror, I'm gonna put it in that little slot right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little slot for it to go in. I'm gonna put my pen in. I can take my AirPods, but I'm going to dinner, but I don't know why I feel like I would need my AirPods, I don't. I'm gonna put my Kate Alley perfume in here, as well as this one, because options. My lip gloss right here, these two um, lip liner, eyeliner, oil absorbing wipes. I'm gonna go ahead and put in there as well. And of course the comb needs to go. Now, I do not need to have two lip glosses in here or anything. I don't even need the AirPods, but I just feel the need to have it in there for some reason. And um, if I organized everything in there better, I would be able to zip it better, I feel. But it's not hard to zip. This is it completely zipped up. This is how I would just hold it, just handheld like that, of course. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I think I am gonna go with this bag because that's what I originally wanted to go with. And everything fits in there pretty well. And it would fit better, of course, if I organized everything better. But yeah. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's like kind of a rush video, but I do have everything in here that I need to have in here, I believe. I'm just trying to arrange things a little bit better. 
because I really need to get out the door like now. Um, I guess I could put this gloss in here too because I do like to have both and then this little tiny thing. The only thing I didn't put in here is this because I have my touchdown hand sanitizer. Like literally I put everything in there, but um, this hand sanitizer because I have the other hand sanitizer. And now I can zip it up. You guys see, I have quite a bit of things that I feel like are essentials. Like I said, my AirPods are not essential all the time, especially for dinner, but like just in case, I wanna listen to something real quick. I don't know. But yeah, these are the two bags, you guys. I highly, highly recommend. Now, this one was sold out. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there was one more in stock and I hurried, put this in my cart and checked out ASAP. Um, I actually saw this bag first on a YouTuber. Her name is Jerenica Mycia on YouTube and I um, watch all her videos. I love her. And she recommended this bag and I like ran. <laughs> And it was sold out, but then um, randomly I was looking and it was in stock and there was one more left and I hurried up and got it. And in this one, there's many of these. But yeah, I think they're both really stunning. And if you don't wanna break the bank, go to Amazon, look up like, you know, some really nice dupes for the bags that you do really love that are designer and are super pricey. But all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you on the next one, bye.